The first post I ever put on the speed solving forums had to do with cubing health. I had issues with my wrists and I wanted to know what the best solution was for keeping my wrists healthy. Cubing health and psychology is one of the most underdeveloped parts of the sport. This is a dive into cubing health and why Felix's orange hoodie matters a lot more than you might think. Felix won multiple world titles across many events between 2013 and the 2015 world championships, wearing his infamous orange hoodie. Of course, by all means, his skill was the primary reason he won these world championships. There is no reason to think the orange hoodie was some superstitious reason why he had won both titles. However, I do think the orange hoodie offers some lessons to be learned. When I was casting alongside Morgan Ye for the Great Lakes Championships, we talked about the idea of body temperature regulation. You see, for most major championships, the room is pretty cold, since it's usually in a large environment and has high levels of air conditioning. This coldness in the room impacts speed cubers in more ways than you think. When the human body gets cold, the first parts of the body to lose heat are the extremities. Your hands and feet lose functioning since they are the farthest from the heart. Morgan wore a jacket for the majority of the competition. Keep in mind, this was in the height of an August summer. For Felix, the orange hoodie may have contained more heat in him, giving more function to his hands, which would give him a competitive edge over other competitors in the finals. This idea of body temperature regulation would soon evolve. And in 2017, Max Park got the 3x3 world record average. By using hand warmers in competition, Max Park targeted heat to his hands keeping them warm and preventing them from losing any key functioning ability when solving. Last March, I tried out the strategy. I got hand warmers and tried them at Bulldog Winter 2.0 2022. At this competition, I beat my best average, with a 12.55 for my previous 13.28. Recently, I watched a Rocket League video by Wayton Pilkin, where he talked about a League of Legends study where they found a group of players who did 15 minutes of exercise performed better than a group that did no exercise. This made me wonder if exercise corresponded to maximizing QB performance, or if there are also other things that can maximize competition day performance. For now, the frontier of cubing health is young and mostly unexplored. But we do know one thing. Orange hoodies win championships.